feed has been helpful everything was very crisp and i was able to finish all of my syllabus and was able to prepare for this really fast it was mainly the recorded classes but very crisp uh, information i was able to cover majority of the subject conceptually and length of the content as well so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr apurva modi malik for scoring a topmost rank of aml 20 cml of 21 in the super specialty of mch pediatric surgery in any ss session november 2025 congratulations to you thank you so much sir so to great to have you today in this interview with us and to share your experiences and your preparation and your success can we know a brief background from where you started till date what all you have done so uh, i grew up in riva i did my mbbs from jabalpur uh, medical college then my uh, dnb general surgery was from manipal hospital bangalore and uh, during that time itself i had some exposure with pediatric surgery and uh, my interest grew and grew and then i decided to prepare for it i took a break of 6 months i did not write the neat tests right after my uh, dnb final year then uh, i mean i wrote this is the first, only exam that i attempted and uh, i prepared only for around 2 and 1/2 3 months but uh, speed has been helpful everything was very crisp and i was able to finish all of my syllabus and was able to prepare for this really fast great great and uh... can we know why pediatric surgery so i had some interest and some exposure during my mbbs itself i had a very active department structured classes and everything in jabalpur and uh, when i actually practiced pediatric surgery for during my rotational posting my interest got better i love how uh, these babies and children when they are patients in post op they're so happy they recover very fast their only concern is when can i go and play <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So very satisfying to work there. So once you decided to do a pediatric surgery in MCH, what did you do? How did you start? What all you did to achieve what you are today? First, I mean initially I have everybody told me that I should be preparing for NEET SS. I had I would have more options. It's much easier to crack and those things. I was a little specific as to prepare for one of the INIs, and uh, so I waited. I started. I mean, I started my research. I started digging as to how should I go about it, and that I need to be reading the subject. Initially, I did try to read from the textbooks, but again, it's very lengthy, especially when it's not been taught to you by somebody. Uh, then I took this subscription and uh, I started the lectures. Uh, when I had joined, the live classes were not going on. It was mainly the recorded classes, but very. crisp uh, information i was able to cover majority of the subject conceptually and uh, this thing the length of the content as well who introduced speed with you and what was your experience with speed speed was a little tricky actually i did not have any seniors who were preparing using speed but uh, from my from what i started talking to people who had cracked ini most of them had prepared from speed and uh, no other coaching had a course for pediatric surgery specifically everything else was just uh, general surgery thing with some lectures for pediatric surgery which i was not sure was enough yeah we have a dedicated uh, program for pediatric surgery uh, so that the students who are interested to do pediatric surgery can take the maximum resource and help so that they can prepare to the exam standards yes and can we know how many questions did you att- attend this exam i attempted 78 questions great now can you share something about this paper I mean your experience on this paper what was it asked was, what was the most orientation towards which area something on that it was a very clinical paper every question was just decision making most of them were case based they were not very lengthy questions but everything was case based you would have the basic information about the patient and uh, lot of management based questions and very close options in management i mean among the four that we had general surgery i felt was around 25 to 30% of the paper and i wish i had studied more of that <laughs> <laughs> that would have gotten me uh, probably more uh, right answers but definitely very clinical if you have some exposure in pediatric surgery definitely helps okay great now uh, can we know something on your interview part what did you prepare and how you uh, answer what were the area they are concentrating on that so uh, there were three 
uh, examiners during my interview my first question was definitely about uh, if i had any exposure in pediatric surgery and what cases did i see there were a few questions from the cases that i answered so i told them that uh, i had seen a very interesting case about a 2 day old baby with midgut volvulus and malrotation so they just uh, asked a few questions on malrotation i had a dedicated section for thesis they asked about the thesis that i did during my general surgery and uh, there were one of the examiners asked me about pediatric trauma and one examiner discussed uh, pediatric emergency okay great doctor what is the one go one word that you want to say in the message for the future aspirants of pediatric surgery which are aspects of pediatric surgery which are aspirants future aspirants oh i don't know i always feel like uh, you will have a lot of people who would discourage you tell you that uh, it's a dead and dying branch and i i can assure you that's not true <laughs> and it's a very interesting subject it the content is interesting it's not like a mini version of adult surgery i don't know why st- people still have that misconception but it's really not true and uh, whenever you are preparing focus on building your concepts more you will forget uh, facts but you won't forget concepts great time to thank and you can use this platform to thank those people who helped you from day 1 till date that helped you your career to what you are today i was inspired by all of my surgery professors and my pediatric surgeons from my ug college as well i um uh, my mentors here in general surgery were extremely uh, encouraging and supportive and i had uh, thanks to my department i did get time to study at least in the last month it's been very helpful they've been very supportive and uh, very inspiring that i felt that i could achieve this great and uh, we wish you once again all the and very- of course i mean I would still like to say, sir, I loved your general surgery lectures. They were so good. They were so i I want to say they were so fun way to attempt. Like, I mean, to discuss all of these so many facts compiled into an hour. They were really good, sir. I think finally you thought about it. I believe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I wanted to say. I'm sorry. I thought I'll say it at the beginning, but then we started no, actually, discussing okay. this part. That's okay. That's okay. Sorry. Great. It was great. So once again, I wish you all the very best and all the success for a great and amazing and a very bright career in MCH Pediatric Surgery. Best wishes to you. I don't know if you remember, sir. The day my uh, theory result had come, I had texted you, and mm-hmm. the fact that you replied instantly, it was I I felt amazing and it was very useful. <laughs> it was very targeted as to what I should do next. And it was Just doing something. what one likes has to do it's not with the scope it's not with the word market test is what i like it's what i wanted to do it's what i carry with me it's what i live with that that matters more than anything else this is not something that others can give opinion and do with that no when i want to do cardiothoracic surgery people said no i said that's what yes so i like to be a cardiothoracic surgeon i'll not be happy by me me any other surgeon so that's how for each and every individual is, is it all about yes so yes, the reason i replied that i ended up being here sir it does it will be that you'll be happy enough see it's not for others it's how you will feel comfortable and happy matters a lot than anything else yes sir. and uh, when you are comfortable and happy I mean does not matter anything else other than that that's the reason i replied instantly because i knew yes. what it <laughs> it's very encouraging sir thank you so much keep going you will have you you will see beautiful things happening in your specialty with you in years to come you will experience that because you have a passion for that definitely believe in that and go ahead and be happy and doing it thank you so much sir all the best best wishes